is January the 1st, 2022, and I'm actually starting the vlog after it's got dark today. Well, almost dark and raining. I haven't really been doing anything that interesting to vlog about today. Catching up with footage, I fixed my editing issue and you know what it was premiere pro editing software updates every so often and if your machine is not up to the specs of the new version then you're gonna have trouble and that's what happened so basically my laptop is becoming obsolete the graphics card specifically but i won't go on about techie stuff suffice to say that after much argy bargy i am now using an older version but i am going to buy myself a macbook this week i've been saving for ages and this is the week that i'm going to do it finally biting the bullet anyway you might be saying imogen what is this amazon box doing on your table and that's exactly what i thought when i got in from porth call and found that there was a card of an undelivered Amazon card. So I went and knocked next door and got it and it's something from the wish list. Come from Tara Anderson. She says, I rarely comment, but watch your videos every day. Glad to see you all enjoyed your Christmas. Enjoy your gift from Miss T Anderson. Thank you so much. This was such a nice surprise because honestly, I thought I was done with presents, but look. <laughs> It is a thermos mug and I only had one in the household and it's just not enough because occasionally I want to make a coffee for me and I be or a hot chocolate for Izzy and you know so that is absolutely fantastic I'm so happy for that just gonna have a quick look I need to go shopping in a minute out it comes oh there we are oh it pulls there we are marvelous Thank you so much for that, Tara. I really appreciate that. And it was such a nice surprise. So what I'm currently thinking is I'm gonna vlog a bit this evening and then carry on and vlog a bit tomorrow earlier in the day because, reasons. <laughs> Because of logistical reasons of me having a very boring day so far today and me doing something tomorrow evening that is not suitable for filming, I figured I would make today's vlog kind of like the end of today and the start of tomorrow over like that because that seems to be the way I can fit it in. <laughs> the boyfriend's coming over in a couple of hours time and Izzy and I are going to cook him dinner together because do you know what? Izzy is not cooking enough. She was doing okay on her road to independent cooking for quite a while. But the thing is, she got into a very comfortable spot for herself where she can do very easily oven food <laughs> and frozen veg. And uh, it's occurred to me recently, she's not varying from this very often when she has to cook herself food. So I've put my foot down, I said, right, you're gonna help me with dinner more because that way you'll just learn. So she has accepted this and she's gonna be helping me to make some dinner later. I'm gonna have to tidy this away in a bit before we all sit down to dinner, but look, it's coming on. The irritating puzzle is coming together, as you can see. It's still got some big gaps though. Now this isn't the most suitable puzzle for rolling up. There are quite a few pieces that, like, that's how they link. When it's not complete and you unroll it again, like, these are quite often just gone astray somewhere. So there's a bit of a period of reorganising the chaos. Like that, look. Anyway, it's 25 past four now. I need to go shopping. You come in. I've just been defogging the glasses before I go with one of these wipes. They're expensive and they only work really for a little while. They certainly don't work for 24 hours, but they're all I've got and they're better than nothing. Hey, it's nice and quiet in here in the evening on New Year's Day. I've come straight for the Greg section, of course. And look, they've got mini cheese and onion rolls. Is he all like those? Let's get a bag of them. Two pound 50 they were don't need any veg because I still have market veg from the other day. Of course I can't resist a peep at the reduced gear and I'm out of peppers. 145, you know, that's not the cheapest in town, I must admit. I shall hold off on them. I think they've had a move around, I can't find the meat-free stuff. I'm gonna actually have to use my powers of observation instead of just habit. No, cream eggs. We've only just had Christmas, it's New Year's Day. Oh no Brie, it all got eaten up and I fancied some more. Oh well, we'll just go without. Get some halloumi though. Izzy was asking for a ready meal for the next time I'm out in the evening, which is exactly what prompted my decision there and then to get her cooking proper meals because I thought, no, that's ridiculous. She's 16. But anyway, she'll have one for the next one. I found the meat-free section, but I think they must have sold out of the burgers we want. I'll have a rummage and see. I'm back. I kind of cut my filming short because I was getting stared at by shop assistants. Like, oh, 
menacingly. <laughs> I don't know if it was really menacingly, but I rather fancied it was. Um, anyway, that was about the only ready meal I could find for Izzy that was vegetarian, so definitely time she learns to cook. There would have probably been stuff that had lemon juice in, or nuts in, or pineapple, or any of the other million things that she's allergic to, so that was the only safe vegetarian option for Izzy. What else have we got? Now, I completely forgot to get spuds, so I actually stopped off in Happy Shopper uh, and just didn't film. So those potatoes, that was £1.49 for all those. What else? Ah, uh, I didn't have the burgers I wanted, because Izzy really likes the Noble burgers, and I didn't have them, so we've got the Linda McCartney ones instead, and hopefully they're gonna be okay. I'm not historically keen on Linda McCartney anything, to be honest. I got halloumi to have in the fridge for whenever I fancy spontaneously making something with halloumi. And last of all, you did see me buying these. It's a bear, you're gonna hopefully be pleased. Look what they do in Iceland now. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds interesting. Well, it's like vegetarian. Alternative to sausage rolls, isn't it? Yeah, check them in the freezer then. I don't know when we're going to eat all this tuna now. Hey, perhaps we could have the biscoffy ice cream today when IB's here. We're going to get cooking in about 40 minutes from now, so I'm going to sneak up and just do a bit more editing on my poor cool vlog because it's taken me ages. I had a lot of argy bargy last night on like live chat with Adobe Premiere Pro technical support, and it took ages. But I've basically got an old version to work with for now until I can upgrade my hardware. Uh, so I was very late starting editing. And uh, yeah, it was a long one. <laughs> so I'm gonna go crack on with that. It's a bit later now. I banged through a load of editing, got some progress done. Izzy has just put the kettle on for me up to the mercs to go on the beans and sprouts and sprout tops that she and I, no, she has prepared. I just did the sprout tops. We got the Linda McCartney burgers in the frying pan. Apparently they take 18 minutes. What? So they are there. Look, and this platter platter is in use. Thank you again to the person that sent me that. In the Actifry, we've got loads of potatoes that me and Izzy both peeled and chopped up, and there's a tiny bit of a slightly mangy parsnip end as well, which I will be avoiding like the plague, because I really don't like parsnips. I shall absolve Izzy of the boiling thing. She's sat down now in the other room. We had a nice chat as well, didn't we, Izzy? chatting about why on earth I like Irish music, so that brought up an interesting discussion. Izzy's been really helpful today, she hung a load of washing out for me as well. Now, all about that, I'm a naughty emo because somebody told me in the comments, and thank you, um, that apparently superstition has it, that it's bad luck to do laundry on New Year's Day. But the thing is, IB's been here a bit more than usual lately, and he was out of clean underwear, so I really had to, or he's not going to have any clean pants to put on in the morning and he's coming tonight, so he definitely needs them. So, sorry about that. Mm. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Who's <laughs> the devil? You! I was talking oh. about your underwear situation. Really? Do <laughs> yeah. you think the viewers want the... Yeah, oh yeah, probably. Um, right, so I'm going to try and put this away now. Look, these pieces are just, they're not going to be in the right position. Oh, and I get it back out again, oh. You won't believe this, you know I was supposed to be teaching Izzy cooking? I forgot to put the heat under the vegetables that she prepared. So they are rock hard and everything else is cooked now and everyone's hungry and sitting around. Dinner was amazing, look what we're having for afters that hadn't been eaten yet. The biscoff dessert. Oh, yummy. <laughs> it's a bit hard to eat because it just kind of skids around. Oh, I got a bit. I think it's because it's too cold. Mm, wide. I'm tasting it. Mmm! Mmm! You can really taste the biscoff flavour intensely. It's nice, I like it. Well, dinner went down a treat, as did dessert. I'm gonna make a pot of decaf coffee now and we're gonna sit down and enjoy an episode of Voyager all together. This is me at half ten at night, making a Washing up liquidy bucket of water to swish out my food waste bin in the street. I popped out to put something in it, only to find out that somebody has kindly thrown up in it for me. And shut the lid and then just put it on its side. Thanks. Hello, it is the next day. IB and I have come to the park. Hello, somebody's come to see us, but it's only because it thinks we've got food and we haven't. But look, they're all coming, let's go. <laughs> Time has elapsed since we got back from the park. We got soaking wet, didn't we? Yeah. Really wet. My normal footwear 
is on the radiator at home drying and I have resorted to a pair of Doc Martens that look really nice. Well, they're a bit scruffy actually because they're very old, um, but I just don't find them as comfortable anymore at my age. <laughs> We're on our way to my boyfriend's place at the moment. We've been on a bit of a serious quest to find the ideal MacBook for me to use for editing. Um, but they don't want to be bought, they're hiding, aren't they? Do you know, you can't just go to the Apple store in Cardiff anymore. You have to make a prior appointment to go fixed time. And there weren't any slots and I rang the helpline and they just said, oh, there aren't any slots. So I thought, well, it might work if I rang somebody, but it didn't. So I've got to just check back later in the week. But we're thinking we might try curries tomorrow though not today because we haven't got time oh i was going to tell you you know the bin incident with the food waste bin last night i thought i'd cleaned it but it was really dark in the street and the street lights for some reason i couldn't see anything so i'd been swishing it all out and tipping it away and i thought it was all sorted out it wasn't went out in the daylight and yeah <laughs> but the, i'd left the lid up to try and dry it out a bit but it had rained a lot in the night so it was like had a round to it cleaning that earlier. We seem to be grumbling along very slowly in heavy traffic at the moment, but we're actually gonna go to my boyfriend's house via a supermarket. He's having a few friends over later, which I'm not gonna film, but just getting a few bits and bobs for them to eat in. We've decided we're going to Lidl, and it's the Mirtha one, actually. We are just arriving at Lidl. That noise sounds really anxiety provoking to me, like someone's having a heart attack or something. Come on then, let's get a couple of bags. Little plus speaking He's buying bacon for bacon baps. He's just grabbing some cheese now as well. Oh, there are those lovely yogurts. Look, the natural Greek ones are nice too. I'm not buying anything though, not from my house. Ivy's buying eggs now to go with the bacon. We just bumped into some people we knew. It was really nice. We just had a chat <laughs> next to the cheese. There's a great big meat-free section here. I've never seen so much selection for that in Lidl's before. I was looking for some like fake bacon, which I don't think I've ever eaten before, just because everyone else is going to have bacon rolls. Um, but there isn't any sunlight. Grab a veggie burger and just have that instead. $1.99. Just had a quick look at the ingredients. Um, I'm not vegan, and nor are these. They've got egg protein in from chickens, but I'm gonna get them anyway. We're trying this on the advice of a subscriber, and Thank we're off. Hello. I'm talking to my camera, aren't I? <laughs> it's the Saturday night hand sanitizer tune. <laughs> it's about 20 past five now. I've been at IB's for a while. Of course I've been editing, of course. There at the desk in the spare room, one of our mutual friends turned up out of the blue for a chat. So we had a cup of tea and a chat with them. Now I need to go and have a shower quickly because we've got people turning up and I really need a shower. I am gonna end the vlog now, but thank you so much for watching this one. Do give it a like if you liked it because it really helps the channel to grow because it helps to boost the video up in the algorithm and all that and I really appreciate that. If you're new here and would like to follow more of my story here in the South Wales Valleys, do feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!